I read something pretty amazing this morning that I wanted to share with you. Now, I know you've heard it before. I know you've heard it a lot. But have you ever been right, reading the Bible and it just seems to pop off the page to you? It takes on a brand new freshness in your life? Well, that's what happened. I was reading in John chapter 10, and I came down to verse uh, 27. John 10, 27. Jesus said, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. I, I mean, really, a lot of what I read this morning was pretty powerful stuff, and uh, he's actually talking to his enemies, the Pharisees and Sadducees that did not believe in him when he says these words. And he's talking about himself being the good shepherd. And he said, my sheep know my voice. The sheep don't just know the shepherd's voice. They love the shepherd and his voice, and they follow him. Yeah, the sheep follow the shepherd. That's what sheep do. They, they could be munching on some juicy grass. They could be drinking up some cool water. If they hear the master's voice and it's getting further away and he's calling them to follow, they'll leave whatever they're involved in and they will follow the shepherd. They don't want to be away from the shepherd. Uh, through this whole ordeal, uh, you've become familiar, if you've joined us for many of these moments, that my little dog, uh, while I was officing at home, would be attached at the hip for me. I, I would sit there, and she would literally lay her hip against mine so that if I moved at all, she would be cognizant of that. If I got up and went somewhere else, she at least wanted to know where I was, if not follow me. If she thought I was going outside, she would jump up and follow me outside. If I'm coming back in the house, she follows me back in the house. I don't have to have a leash on her. Uh, she follows me. She loves me. She wants to be where I am. And that's the way sheep are. They want to be near their shepherd. And Jesus said, this is how it is. My people know me. My people love me. My people follow me. How do you know if you're one of Jesus' sheep? There are a lot of people who claim to be in his flock, but they are not. So how do we know? His sheep follow him. Jesus' sheep want to be with him. Jesus' sheep are not ashamed to be identified as his sheep. It's, it's what they're about. Now, there is a following of Jesus that isn't a following at all. There are people who do certain things they think are necessary in order to go to heaven. They are practicing what they see as the bare minimums to have Jesus as their Savior. They're certainly not following him as Lord. Their conduct, their language, their lives are actually the opposite of what Jesus called us to be and to do. They're not a sheep. Uh, the, the people that Jesus was talking to, they all claim to be children of God. And Jesus was saying, no, no. If you were children of God, if you were disciples of Moses, you would accept me. You would follow me. My sheep follow me. Do you have a desire for Jesus? Have you cultivated that desire? Maybe it started out small, but it's gotten greater. Things like holiness don't scare you. They don't turn you off. They're true holiness. True holiness is Christ within. True holiness is fellowship with him. Hallelujah. You feel his presence. That's holiness. It's not that fake stuff of the way you dress, where you go. That... True holiness will affect the things you do, the 
the way you dress and so on and so forth, but they're two different things. If your religion is religion, it's not going to cut it. But if you know Jesus, if you follow Jesus, if you want to be with Jesus, you're not ashamed. You're a sheep from his fold. Jesus went on to say, my sheep know my voice. I know them. Jesus doesn't just know us as a group, as a world. He knows us individually. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows what the desires of your heart are. He knows what makes you happy and what makes you sad. And he is good to us all. Haven't you ever had those experiences where you just got to stop and say, wow, God, that was awesome. I didn't even, I didn't even ask for that. I, I would have never asked for that. That's bigger than I ever an anticipated. God's good. I, I know there are days, there are seasons, there are times when what's going on you don't like at all. God's working out something in those times too, but every once in a while, he will do the exact opposite. He will, he will pour out on you as a follower of his just because he loves you. you know, sometimes I scoop up my little puppy dog and I rub her belly and she, oh, you know, she, she just loves that. You know, I, God does that for us too. He loves his sheep. He knows his sheep. You are known by God. Nothing you're going through today is off his radar. He, he zeroed in on you. And all his plans are for his glory, but also for your good as a follower of his. But catch this, he goes on to say, I give them eternal life. I give them eternal life. Whew. Eternal life eternal forever life joy peace strength everything that we could ever desire is ours in jesus christ he gives it to us it's already been given he gives his sheep eternal life i give them eternal life if you were to offer to me joel you can live in this life forever you'll be healthy um, you'll, all your needs will be met, never be in want, or you could go to be with Jesus. It's a no-brainer. I'm going to go be with Jesus. Eternal life. No frustration. No pain. No hard days. All is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. You, you don't want to miss heaven for all the world, no. Jesus, as we follow him, gives us eternal life. It says, and they shall never perish. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ, death is nothing to be afraid of. It's walking through a door to a better place. It's going through a door to a better place. Place. I'm very familiar with cold weather recently, even though it's May. <laughs> and there are times when I'm out walking the dog that I, I love just getting back in the house. The wind has been blowing, been miserable, maybe even rainy. I, I remember one, one time I went out with the dog and it was bright and sunny. I put my sunglasses on, I had my short sleeve shirt on. I stepped out, I thought, man, it's, it's pretty nice. We got halfway through our walk, you know, I don't know, quarter mile away from home. It got dark, as you can imagine, and it started not just raining. It started pelting rain. And so there I am, you know, all the way home, and the dog trying to drag her along. We got to get home before this thing really lets loose. Boy, was I glad to get in the door. When Jesus calls your name, you're going home. You will be so happy to be in the door. 
My sheep know my voice, and they follow me. My sheep know my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They shall never perish. The last line, no one can ever snatch them out of my hand. Woohoo! <laughs> you are safe in the hand of Jesus. He's got you. Ooh. And you're on your way. Oh, don't turn back. Don't turn away. Don't get messed up. Don't get caught up in, in trinkets and stuff and what, what so-and-so will think if you become a Jesus freak. <laughs> There's no place on earth like it in Jesus' hand. You love him and he loves you and you're on your way. Oh, we pray that everybody will be ready to go. What about you today? Have you been falling back, fading away? No, no. Press in. True holiness. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, body, and spirit. That's where it's at. Let's pray. Father, thanks for life. Life to the full. Life eternal. We do love you. I want to be with you and follow you constantly. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every moment I need you. Draw close today as we draw close to you. Wash us clean. Convict us of any of those distractions we've had so that we can offload them and get closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless. Hope to see you again soon.